This video focuses on circles and their calculations and how to perform these when you don't have a calculator. Now, suppose you are asked first of all to find the circumference. Now then, the formula as we know for that is 2 pi times r. Now our radius here equals 8, so the circumference equals 2 pi times 8. 2 times 8 is 16, so this equals 16 pi. That's in terms of pi. But suppose in the exam they said we want to use pi is equal to 3.14. So they have rounded pi to two decimal places. So to find the circumference using pi to 2 dp requires a calculation 16 times by 3.14. Now then, there's a nice way of working out such a calculation which should, ho should hope to maximise the chance of getting it right in the actual exam itself and it's using uh, the grid method. Now to work this out you draw a grid made of squares and you write 16 in this case across the top and 3.14 down the side and you draw lines down through the corners of the grid. Now then, 1 times 3 is 3. 6 times 8 is... 6 times 3 rather is 18. 1 times 1 is 1. 6 times 1 is 6. 1 times 4 is 4. 6 times 4 is 24. And you now add up the diagonals starting with the lowest value, 4. 6, 4 and 2 is 12, so 12, carry the 1. 1, 1, 8 is 10, carry the 1. 1, 1, 3 is 5, and 0. And the dot just falls down that diagonal there. So the answer equals 50. Point two four, and that is the circumference of the circle. For the area, we know the formula is pi times radius squared. Our radius equals 8. 8 squared equals 64, so 64 pi. That's in terms of pi. However, once again, they could say to us, suppose pi equals 3.14 to 2dp. Therefore, we have to work out what 64 times by 3.14 is. And we can use the same method. Again, two digits by three digits. We draw a grid. You can of course use your own methods, but I find this way is often the most successful. 64, 3.14. We put in the diagonals to separate the units and tens in each part of the calculation. And fill in each part as we work it out. The dot goes down here. 6, 9, 6, 2, 2 is 10, carry the 1, 10 again, carry the 1, 2. Therefore the answer is 200.96 to two decimal places. Now this video was about a circle, using pi to be 3.14. The next video looks at 
problems involving circles, though the calculations involved being very, very similar. <laughs>